Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my Epson EcoTank how-to videos and I've got an issue with print quality on this. Uh, the model I've got is the ET2850 but this would apply to other models as well. And before we start, make sure you have plenty of ink, halfway or more is better. So as I said, I've got print quality issues. So the first thing we need to do is a nozzle check. So we, I'll show you how to do that. Go to the settings icon, maintenance, nozzle check. Low day for paper and print. So you may just have small print quality issues or you may have a problem with the ink not running at all and I'll show you how to fix that if it's in that situation. So this takes a few minutes, a few seconds to print. It prints four rectangles in the black, ye yellow, magenta and cyan colours. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for uh, basically bits missing out of the rectangles. As you can see, this one's fine, but it wasn't earlier because I've fixed it. Um, to see the yellow, you can just bend the paper up because it doesn't show very well in the light. So providing you've got quite a bit of color here and it's not com completely missing, then we can try this next. So automatically it said to us, are there any missing segments? And we would say yes, it would do a head clean. And then after that, you can print a nozzle check. So basically what you're looking for is, you're looking for this no nozzle check to get better each time. I would recommend doing maybe one or two head cleans, leaving it for a bit and then coming back to it. Don't do four or five in a row because you can introduce air and you can make any clogs in the print head even worse. So say if you are printing something and you've got the com color completely gone, like this. So this is a printer test sheet. I'll link this in the description. It's got the cyan, magenta, yellow and black in the image. And as you can see, that's what mine looks like. The cyan and black has gone. But just for side by side comparison, that's what it, this is what it should look like on the right. And that's what it looks like before I did this. So we're gonna do a power clean. Um, uh, you only want to do a power clean every 12 hours and I'll tell you what to do if that doesn't work. So we can access it the same way. Go all the way back. We've got settings, maintenance, power cleaning. And it'll give us some instructions about it and some information. It may not improve the print quality in the following situations. Basically where you've done a head clean where the ink levels were low, so that's something too important to check. And it's not, you've done a head clean three times, it's still not improved. And it also says wait 12 hours between doing it. So if you've got the issue where the colors have gone completely, run the power cleaning, but only do it every 12 hours. So if you've done the power cleaning and after 12 hours you've tried again and it's not worked, then the problem may be with actually the print head is clogged or it may be an issue with these pipes or the dampers. So I will link a video in the description to a tutorial on how to fix that, but hopefully th this simple video has helped you fix any print quality issues without having to mess with any of that. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to help. Thanks for watching.